Unfortunately, one caveat here is that uh, Iran does not have any similar systems built. So not only people from outside can be helped with, but also Iranians inside the Iran cannot be helped by the lack because of the lack of a an informatic system that keeps this patient, people's well, well, I, data. I, found, I found this quite shocking when I heard this. There's no stem cell bank in Iran. I mean, how, how difficult is it to create one? And why do you think there isn't one already? Correct. One of the uh, biggest hospitals in Tehran was supposed to have a, a huge uh, stem cell, uh, as, as we heard. So my sister who lives in Tehran actually went and spoke with the head of oncology in that particular hospital. And they said, we basically have enough to help patients who are admitted in our hospital. And the way they would be helping with that patient, um, for example, if I were admitted in the hospital, in this particular hospital, uh, they have a limited amount, number of um, uh, stem cells available to them. And if they don't find a match, they tell the person's uh, relatives and friends and family, uh, bring as many people as you can to do an HLA testing. And if by any um, chance, by any draw of luck, there is an um, op optimum, uh, optimal donor among those people, then that's where they get their stem cells from. Whereas when all these people are having the HLA typed, then it would be just a question of having an informatic yeah. uh, system, yeah. a computer system to keep that data. Yeah. And next time that uh, somebody comes and needs the HLA and this HLA typing was kept in the data bank from two years ago, they would just reach out to that person in the in another city and say, would you like to donate some blood now and help save somebody else's life? So, so, just, so to, just to put a fine point on this, in a country of 80, 90 million people in Iran right now, the majority of whom, by the way, are under the age of 44, um, there's no real infrastructure to find out if we can find your match right now. That's what you're telling correct. me. Correct. I mean, this is heartbreaking. And apparently, until a few years ago, Sazemone uh, Hilal Ahmad, the uh, equivalent to the Red Cross uh, Blood Transfusion uh, Institute, had a blood bank uh, slash bone marrow uh, center, which was recently closed, we found out. So it's basically in the hand of a couple of uh, very few hospitals that have that possibility, but their opportunities to help people is extremely limited. It's, it's, it's very demoralizing, um, that.